Um, I mean, trolls are trolls, that's whatever. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when I see some of these comments, I'm like, yeah, who took a dump on your birthday cake? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're running around pooping on everybody's parties. <laughs> Somebody must have done something terrible to you, because I don't know why you're saying these things. But, you know, that kind of, it's a little bit funny to me sometimes. I get a laugh out of it <laughs> when people are so ridiculous. Some of my favorite ones were like, I go into a Chinese supermarket and I had like, two dollars or something and I gave each person a dollar and somebody made a comment like look at you flashing that money showing them something they'll never have like <laughs> yeah money bags walks in there with two dollars <laughs> I'm popping tags at the thrift store with these two dollars here man like it's just so silly it makes me laugh it really does make me laugh sometimes. There are many terrible, terrible things happening in the world right now. I think we all need a distraction. So today I'm going to talk about something that's not nearly as important. And one of the reasons is I want to spread awareness of these problems. And the other reason is let's just get our minds off of, you know, all this chaos. Um, you know, I, I've been in China and Japan for a long time, like eight years, and I know those countries very well. But what I don't know is the YouTube world. The world of YouTube is really new to me. So this channel is not even a year old, and there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. But of course, with anything that I take on, I do a lot of research, and um, there's a lot of scams out there. I'm not even joking. This channel has been attacked so many times in the last few weeks. It's, it's just amazing, but we will prevail. Probably the most common scam going around right now is uh, something that is called channel hacking. And uh, it can be done a couple of ways and I just got an email today and I was like, oh my gosh, the hackers are trying to get at me too. It was obvious. It's like I gave this email to no one. I do not give out my personal email. You can beg and plead and I just cannot give it out and I don't have it written anywhere. So I got an email from a sponsor. The biggest thing that stands out to me on this email that I got today, March 30th, is that I did not give anyone my email. How did you get this? Even if it was a legitimate sponsor, how did you get this email? Somebody found this through either my LinkedIn account, which I've deleted, or maybe one of my relatives on Facebook that doesn't have good security. I know my grandma's Facebook was hacked into recently. I don't know how they got it, but the point is they got it. So, hey, Chris... Christensen. That's a very interesting name. Um, Chris, no title, no phone number, no contact information at the bottom. Chris, hey, thanks for watching my videos about China. Uh, I noticed that you are making videos about China and Japan. Oh, crap. That's how you get attention. If you are looking for a sponsor, blah, 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 click on this malware link. Malware, malware, malware. 100%. I'm never going to click on that link. Are you freaking crazy? <laughs> don't ever click on this. Even you guys that don't have, you know, like YouTube channels and stuff, don't click on these links. Don't do that. That is malware. It's going to it's going to get downloaded onto your computer you won't even know it and then bad things will start happening they can take your bank information they can take lots of very sensitive stuff they could break into your facebook your instagram your whatever and of course that's why it's very important to have two-step verification on all your social media apps okay chris nice try but quite frankly even if you are a legitimate sponsor like my japanese pod 101.com sponsor I'm not going to promote products to people that I don't use and I don't uh, understand. People ask me, hey, Anming, how did you study Chinese? How did you study Japanese? I'm not going to push products on you as the viewer that I haven't used myself because I just feel that that's disingenuous and not honest. I see that you make videos about China and Japan, says a guy I've never talked to and who somehow got my email address that I didn't give out to anyone. So immediately I was way freaked out by this and it's like, click on this link. 
malware, 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 like times 50,000 that's got malware written all over it. And that's that's how they get you. Like you click on a link, it's got spyware, malware. And then um, that's been used to hack people's channels before they'll lock you out. Uh, usually it's best to do things like two-step verification where um, if you ever want to log into your YouTube account or social media account, that includes Facebook and Instagram, then it's going to ask for like a code that's sent to your cell phone. And if you don't have that cell phone device with you, like a hacker would not, then it's going to be really hard for them to get in. So, of course, I set that up on all my stuff, but I was not prepared in the beginning. This is my, this is my purple beast. And the purple beast can never be trusted again because it got hacked. Uh, it didn't have any security on it. Um, this is old. I needed a new computer anyway, but it didn't have any good security protection on it. And uh, it got hacked into... It didn't have any security at all, actually. It got hacked into it in February, and I was just rather shocked about that because I've never had a situation where my computer mouse just starts moving and files start opening. They'll wait until, after they've computed themselves in, they'll wait until you walk away from the computer for like 15, 20 minutes thinking you went out of the room. Uh, at that time, it looked like I had gone out of the room, but actually I was teaching an English lesson online on a separate device. So I was watching this go down like, what the heck? Why is, why are all my GoPro videos suddenly out on the screen? And yeah, it was a hacking. And uh, they took some videos or whatever. Ha! I'm not that up to speed. I don't have like videos that are finished and unpublished. I do my videos in a day, if you didn't notice by the spelling mistakes. Like filmed, edited, published in one day. And it, it's a little bit too fast of a pace, to be honest. Um, but... Yeah, so they got some videos and, and whatever. That's going to be useless to them. But sometimes the, they'll use those to try to hack a channel and continue to get money from it as they post new videos and get money from Google AdSense. So that's something to be aware of. Yeah, so I can never trust that purple computer again unless I wipe the memory. I just don't even connect it to the internet anymore and I got a brand new computer because that was necessary. It's a big loss if you didn't need a new computer already like I did. Um, there were more creative scams than that that happened, not just the sponsorship scam, but attacking my channel through a friend's channel. Now, I'm very careful about my editing. I'm dealing with some of the most sensitive topics in Asia, America and China, China and Japan. And then let's just throw in another one, and I'm talking to people from... Taiwan in the videos like that is super sensitive stuff you have to be so careful about what you say because the uh, yeah I know um remember I have a master's degree in diplomacy <laughs> yeah I'm aware <laughs> I'm aware of what how to skate around some of these issues and just make a video about people's lives without getting into any trouble or whatever um yeah, so I'm very careful with my editing. I choose my words very carefully. You probably wouldn't even notice by the way I present myself, but I am so careful and thoughtful about every single thing I say because the people like scammers will just look for a little weakness in a video. Like my friend Yuki-san, um, he has a channel and it's small, so it's hard to protect a small channel, but he did a video. You can compare the two. My video from Kawagoe versus his video from Kawagoe. Mine was uh, received pretty positively and his was received, maybe it was received negatively. I'm not sure because it looks like a bunch of robots were disliking his video and trying to cause a scandal where there was no scandal. Now what's the purpose of doing that? Ah, <laughs> this is where it gets really complicated. Ransom money. Yes. Yeah, that that was an elaborate thing. So I want to go into details about that. And that was really weird. Uh, somebody sent me a message on Instagram as those dislikes were coming in on my friend's video and said, Hey, I'm a guy that never talked to you before on Instagram. I found this Reddit hate page against you. Prepare yourself mentally as you look at this. 
I was like, oh, that sounds weird already. And then I go to Reddit. I don't even use Reddit. I created account, an account just to look at this, and it's like ridiculous stuff on there. So I made a Reddit account, and maybe that was the problem. Maybe that's how they got my email address. I don't even know if the two events are connected. It's hard to say. But anyway, having an email address and without me clicking on malware is useless to them. But okay, so this picture that Yuki-san chose is kind of unfortunate. I think it could be misunderstood. Do we need Japanese Let's Talk in English? That's exactly the opposite of what we were trying to prove that day. So actually, I asked him to change it so that reasonable people wouldn't misunderstand but this is clearly not reasonable at all and the first thing that stood out to me here is the insults against Japanese people so they're trying to say that I'm insulting Japanese people but here they've called them bum f-u-c-k inaka people inaka is countryside people why would you insult the people of Saitama when you're saying you're protecting Japanese so that didn't make sense and also they don't have very good knowledge of the geography of Japan because Inaka the countryside is not Saitama not Kawagoe that's more like the suburbs so two red flags there and then just as I was reading through these how unreasonable they were and how cruel they are to women and just terrible stuff like, I can understand maybe some people could get confused with this title if they don't see that it's actually a Japanese person that made this video. But some of the stuff in here was just so unreasonable. Like, ew, clearly someone would check the video out and see, oh, actually, it's okay. But some of this stuff, your family really just needs to stop having kids. It's never too late for an abortion. Well, that's a lovely thing to say to a woman. But, you know, like, I bet this was one guy doing this. Like, these... There's a lot of robot accounts out there you have to be aware of. So I was looking through these and uh, I even commented at one point. Uh, I guess you didn't take the time to see that this video was made and posted on a Japanese man's channel. And when I went to comment, it said, sorry, buddy, you didn't include the revenue stamp 4,000 Japanese N, which is about $40. Can't post yet. So for me to make a comment on this and try to clear my name, this is probably fake. No, this is fake. But to clear my name, I need to pay $40. Okay, well, you know what? That was enough for me. Uh, I figured out the Instagram BS and then this BS. And I'm leaving that dude's name up there because I don't need to protect the privacy of people that are trying to hurt me. So it's like ridiculous stuff on there. And I'm just thinking, who the heck could be that unreasonable? Um, or if... It's a channel that, or a group that is trying to protect Japan and loves Japan. Well, first, it doesn't make sense to attack another Japanese citizen. And number two, the title itself, um, bum, bad word, bum, F word, Inaka people, so country people. Uh, if you really love Japan, you wouldn't call Saitama those terrible things. And if you really knew anything about Japan, you would know that Saitama is not Inaka. Come on, Kawagoe is Kogai. That's the suburbs of Japan. So they don't know anything about Japan. They're not protecting Japanese people. They actually are saying racist things or unkind things against people in the smaller cities in Japan. So it's like, you know, red flag, red flag, red flag. And then I tried to make a comment and it asked for money. Okay, well, the jig is up. <laughs> this is clearly fake. They must think I'm really stupid or really gullible maybe. No, I did my research on this stuff and I know what to look for. That's not saying that um, I'm like, you know, invincible or anything, but I, I am pretty aware of what's going on because as my YouTube channel got, it got going and grew really fast there, I had to keep up with what's going on and I want to warn other people. So I hope this video gets a lot of views because everyone needs to be aware. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel or anything like that, your own personal Facebook, your own personal Instagram, your own personal accounts can be hacked very easily. If you don't have that two-step verification on, that's really important. So I hope that this message gets out to more people. And it's unfortunate what happened. Um, thanks everyone who tried to make the situation with Yuki's channel right and uh, fighting for him and I felt like I let my friend down a little bit there because here I'm trying to help him he's got a small channel he just wants people to learn his language and he got attacked like that 
and it was really more directed at me. People who couldn't find anything to pick on in my videos went to a video that he made that had some weak points and they exploited it to try to get money from me or whatever. That's what I'm working with. I will continue to make videos. I'm not going to give up because they're not going to win and even if something terrible happened like this channel got hacked, we will get it back. Uh, we're not at that point right now, but hope we don't get there. But oh, we will win. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll keep making videos and some from home. Maybe if the situation improves, I could do a, a little bit of videos outside. But really, the, the trouble here is that we're not supposed to be using the trains too much nowadays. If you don't have to use a train, which I don't, then I'm not using it. So I can't go very far. <laughs> but... Stay safe where you are, and, you know, we'll get through this. See you next time.